Marketing. Static versus dynamic lists. Microsoft offers two kinds of lists for use in marketing efforts in the context of CRM, static and dynamic. Both are aptly named as static lists will have only the members you put in them, no more, no less, until the end of time unless you as a user specify a change. Dynamic lists, on the other hand, will allow marketing professionals to set criteria, sometimes several, such as area codes that start with 703 or 513, and draw those people into the list. If I create this list today and find 263 people, and overnight 15 people get added to the system that fit the bill, our list will now have 278 individuals listed. Each list serves a different purpose and can be used as such. Static lists are often created and used to communicate with folks who perhaps were part of a targeted marketing effort such as a postcard or a mailer. From that point forward, you might want folks to move forward as a cohort and target them. A static list is great for that. Dynamic lists, on the other hand, might be the kind of list you target if you're trying to get the word out about your product to all prospects in Ohio or in a certain zip code. Quick Campaigns versus Campaigns to accompany the two list types, CRM also offers two campaign types, Quick Campaigns and Campaigns. The primary difference is that Quick Campaigns are used one time to send out one communication to one list of people. Conversely, campaigns tend to be much more robust and fleshed out. For example, I may have an email blast go out to all my customers indicating that our most popular product is going on sale this Thursday. This would ideally use a quick campaign feature as a vehicle to create those emails to all customers. On the other hand, if I have a big event, such as a user conference, which may happen annually, I might have a budget, several activities, tasks, and several communications ahead of this event. This is a perfect use case for a campaign, since I can track all those things under this one umbrella.